Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask in the world. And by in the world, I mean it, man. We are talking Sweden here. That's right. I got mail from Sweden. Look at that address. I don't even know what it means. I, I don't even, I, even, I, I, I can't even, I mean, from, I'm from Minnesota. I should be able to speak this, but I, I can't, can't do it. Very excited to look at this masks from, let's open this up. It's two, two kilograms, I guess. So four pounds, it's not four pounds. All right, ooh, got a letter, let's see. This is from Tobias. All right, Tobias, hi Lloyd. <clears throat> I'm gonna dramatically read this. Great YouTube channel you have, thanks Tobias. Great service to humanity. You really feed my ego now, which I like, thank you. Really, I mean every single word, that's so sweet. <laughs> Clearly I haven't read this beforehand. Uh, I reach out to you from poor Sweden where we have no mask mandate. Never had, and Delta is lurking out there and might become the dominant uh, variant of SARS-CoV-2. Um, I'm not sure actually when this was received, but uh, I think it probably is definitely the, do the dominant right now. Uh, that is why I'm very eager to wear a mask that I know performs well. Here in Sweden, uh, we who want to protect ourselves really need protective masks, i.e. respirators, as the majority do not use masks even indoors. Wow. So please tell me how well it performs and add it to one of your videos. Doing it. I just bought these quite unique respirators from Amazon. They're also available from South Korea from various sources. It is the Tia Botten KF94 respirator. As you might notice, it is an XL black mask that has adjustable ear loop bands, but I wonder how well the filter performs in your test. Sincerely, Tobias Peterson. All right, Tobias, let's do this. Now, we are going to use a different test than we've been using. This is the respirator test because they are using that word. Uh, same test you've used for uh, uh, an N95. Um, so let's um, open this up. What am I doing here? Let's look at this packaging. Oh, 61121 is when he sent this. Oy vey. That is in the past. Okay. Um, all right, so we've got the bag right here. Now this is the KF94 format, which I really, really, really like. In fact, if I would have known about the KF94 before creating a mask factory that makes millions of surgical masks today, um, I would have made this style of mask. This is my favorite style of mask. Um, so I've not tested this one before, but I'm very excited to. Let me move all of my accoutrements here and Let's use this now. If you haven't seen this device before, again, this is a little bit different than we've been using before. That's to work with a respirator. The math and everything's a little bit different, which I'll send a link in just a minute so you can see if you're really curious about how the setup differs. The way NIOSH does it is they use a TSI machine and, it, and they actually have to use beeswax to, uh, um, to seal the mask. And it's just very time consuming. So we've used a little bit different format there. So this would not be used uh, in, a, in an official test, but it gives you roughly the same results. Let it rip. If you want to figure, if you want to know more about how this uh, PFE machine, uh, <laughs> easy for you to say, if you want to know more about how this PFE machine works, check out that link. And then we'll also explain how our setup is a lot different here. Uh, let's take a look at, um, this is their Amazon store. Now I, the, the black XL mask is currently unavailable, which probably just means it's sold out. Um, it's uh, uh, the KF94 format, which is confusingly named if you're in the United States, because it's like, is it KN? Is it, is it a surgical mask? Is it a respiratory? What is it? What's going on here? And I love the Koreans because they were like, we don't need to overreach. We don't need to be N95. We don't need to be 95. 94. We'll go 94. It's kind of like the seven minute abs things. As an American, we'd be like, no, we're going to be better. Oh, Americans N95? Oh, well, we're going to be... Uh, KN96, it's better than that. That's what we would do as Americans. But South Koreans, I, maybe, I don't know. I'm, I'm projecting here, but they're just like, it's good enough, 94% is good enough. It's a great platform. Um, in fact, the KF94 platform is probably the only test that I would trust as much as the NIOSH test. So the KF94, the, basically the Korean um, uh, FDA, if you will, is just super strict and thorough with their process, and I, and I really do trust them. Um, so if you see something that is a legit KF94 that is from Korea, like, I'd put that on my face. I'm just saying. 
Uh, all right, let's take a look at uh, the actual bag here. High level of sanitation with individual packaging. There's, a, yeah, and that's the other thing too. Uh, Kareen's really, really great at packaging. Um, it looks like a beauty product. Look at this. I love this. It's beautiful. Each one is individually packaged. It's a great, great deal. Ergonomically designed with 3D structure. I noticed a lot of ESL uses, like, talks about 3D structure. It's not, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me since everything in the world is in 3D. <laughs> Must be missing something there. Anti-fogging technology around the nose line. Patented adjustable spandex earbands. Let me open up this one so we can actually see how it works. What's interesting, he said it was extra large, but this is large. Tobias, what, what happened there? So it's got adjustable earband. Oh, I see. So it's got this thing. I wonder how well that actually works. That's a really cool design. Huh. I wonder how well that works though. I mean, that like alone could really, really help with uh, fit. It's really nice. Let's put this on. Pinch the nose, it's got a great, uh, I wouldn't even call it a nose wire. It's like a nice thing. And then, so it is loose on me, which is good because then if you had a bigger head than me, it'd be better. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so cool. And it works. Holy cow. I mean, it's kind of weird having, so I guess I'd tuck this in. You know, if I was like going to some sort of gala, I wouldn't want like gala, G-A-L-A, -A, gala. Sometimes I don't enunciate, especially in a mask. Um, you, know, you want to tuck in the excess there, but that's great. The fit is great. Feels great. Kind of look like, like I could, I could be doing some fashion thing. I don't, know what that, I don't know what that means. Uh, the smell is just like a, I would call this almost smells like burning, which is interesting because I've tested some of the other KF94s and they have a similar like slight plasticky burning smell, not offensive, um, just interesting, um, which is, you know, I was just realizing, I just tried a, K, a KN95 and it just, smelled like that Chinese plastic smell that a lot of these surgical masks have. So I think it, different countries have ways of manufacturing their plastic or something that, that give it that smell. Um, it's a great mask. I hesitate to do the ear loop test, but I'm gonna do it. Um, just cause like, it's, it feels, I don't think this is gonna fall off on your face at all. Yeah, I, see I knew that would happen. That barely had any tug at all. I mean, that just broke right away. I don't think it's gonna fall on your face, but I think this, kind of let me go to the box real quick i think this is like a really cool design they say it's patented i don't know how they're achieving this it's really neat but I, i'll say that the design like however this thing works to to give you that snug fit it also just it doesn't feel like it's super strong so it's like if you were a child or something like that i think um or just someone who just aggressively pulls on your own face um, I don't think it would hold up very well, but I, if you're just wearing it for everyday use, I think it'd be fine. And what's great is, you know, if you did need to like reuse this, you only, you know, you could probably just put it right back in the bag and that's a much better thing than putting it in your pocket. Right? So I like it. I'd buy it. It's unavailable on Amazon, so you can't buy it, but if you could, good. All right. But does any of that crap matter if it doesn't protect you? I almost forgot about the whole point that we're here, which is PFE. Whoa, nice. Dang, that's good. Okay, all right, this is using the NACL test, uh, basically salt, sodium chloride, 99.939, uh, 99.939. 99 it's a good mask, guys. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you, Tobias, for sending this to me. I appreciate it. And uh, send me some more masks, guys. I'll put uh, my address down below, love test them. And I will catch you on that next test.